Good morning, happy Friday, March 10th. It is technically spring break. Um, Parent-teacher conferences this morning, so a little bit of that, but then I'm home free for a week, spring break, so excited. Um, we were ready, the kids were ready, so I'm gonna take the week, gonna recharge, refresh, and then hit the ground running for the last nine weeks of the school year. So let's dive in. Today's title is Say Yes. It says, Your kingdom come, your will be done. That's Matthew 6, 10. I'll never forget the day my dad called me from overseas and told me that he had just purchased the freedom of four young girls who were about to be sold into slavery. Now he needed the foundation to help the girls so they wouldn't fall into danger again. There's a saying that evil triumphs when good men do nothing. My dad was not going to be the man who did nothing. He had, had he not acted, who knows what terrible things would have happened to these four girls. Honestly, we at the foundation weren't prepared. But that moment, a moment in which my dad took a stand for what was right, was the beginning of a ripple effect still in motion today. Through the years, our work to fight against human trafficking and commitment to bringing freedom to the enslaved has grown stronger. We might not know the how or the why involved in the process, but what's most important in the moment is taking the first step, saying yes. How often does God ask us, um, or God put something on our hearts, and all we have to do is say yes. You know, we worry, you know, well, what about this? What about this? What about the next step? Um, what about the finances? Whatever it is. A lot of times we just need to say yes. If we say yes, God will take care of the rest. Right? God is faithful. So in those moments, when He asks you or asks us to do something, just step out on faith and say yes and see how far that goes. See how much impact God can make just by us saying yes. Everyone have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And of course, go be the example.